Hey team, look, we're down here in Oakford. Now, a bit of an unusual one for you today. Uh, we're here treating a pet emu. Now, it is a pet, but unfortunately, the owners um, had to call around many different vet clinics in Perth to try and find help. And unfortunately, there just aren't many vets out there that have experience treating these really, really large birds. So naturally, we got the call. Now, this emu was really badly damaged on the feet from those Oakford fires recently. And so we've been coming down here to treat those burns. So fingers crossed, the healing is going really well. This is the second time we've been here, um, but we're gonna sedate the emu now and just see how these burns are healing. So fingers crossed and let's go check him out. All right, so we've got our little friend Eugene here who unfortunately, due to some recent fires, got some really nasty burns on the bottom of his feet. Emus are very difficult to anaesthetize um, and sedate and work with. Um, and luckily, Eugene is quite a friendly little guy. Every couple of days, we're having to come down, um, give him a little bit of sedation, restrain him and change his bandages and just check on how the wounds are healing up. So as you can see, the sedations work really well. Um, what we're going to have to do in a minute is just give him a sort of fairly gentle restraint, but put a little bit of body weight on him to make sure that he can't get up, treat the wounds and to see how the healing is going. Uh, but yeah, we're really hopeful that the wound dressings have stayed on, so we'll see how those wounds look underneath. I'll put a bit of body weight on him, just, he's going to probably still freak out a little bit. And then, so if you can sort of help pull his leg out, um, I'll sort of stay here with him. they're doing pretty well and we have had to divide a little bit of dead skin off the wounds today um, but as you can see he's uh, a little bit groggy still from his sedation but he should be back up in half an hour or so and hopefully walking around and getting some food into him So Eugene has responded really well to today's treatment. He's still a little bit tired from the sedation and that's probably going to take a couple of hours to wake up. Um, obviously, look, big thank you to our amazing vet team as always, Dr. Meg, Dr. Sue and our vet nurse Georgia um, for coming down in their own time, volunteering all their time to obviously help look after Eugene. Well done guys, thank you very much for your support and keep following Eugene on Facebook. Um, he's very famous now and uh, good stuff, Eugene. <laughs>